Hi, it's Anthony from carplaylife.com. We're back in the car again. We're going to do a very quick demo of Android Auto running on the MMB Android CarPlay AI box. If you've got a Android device and you've got a CarPlay only enabled vehicle, then this is a quick way to get Android Auto connected to your Android and uh, you can then run your Android phone and all the Android Auto apps that are running on it on your CarPlay display. So let's dive in and let's see how well it works. So we're gonna be doing this on the Android 7 box. I've found out that the Android 9 doesn't enable Android Auto and it doesn't enable the other app that I use Android Auto with. So whether that's a limitation of the hardware or the fact that those apps haven't been updated for Android 9, um, but either way, uh, we're going to be doing this on the Android 7 box. So first things first, we've connected our um, smartphone, our iPhone, for example, uh, to the wireless hotspot. And we're going to connect Android Auto. As long as you've got an internet connection, this will behave as you'd expect with Android Auto. You've got navigation, calls and music. With navigation, you go straight into the Google version of Maps and you can then f use the functionality as you would do with Android Auto without worrying about a tablet user interface. Very familiar. Um, back will then take you back to the Android Auto interface. Here you've got the various Android Auto settings. Uh, there's not much you can probably do. It's going to actually launch the app itself uh, and its settings there where you can limit Wi-Fi connected cars and so on, notification preferences. Um, and then up here with the music, you can um, select what is available and what's been installed on the system itself. So we've got Spotify installed on the MMB and AI box. And from here, we can then launch Spotify through Android Auto. Uh, then we've got like library, So there you go, that's playing that uh, with album art and everything else. Uh, and a nice user interface for the car without having to worry about a more fiddly version of um, of the UI uh, that you'd get with a tablet, tablet version. Uh, calling is as you'd expect as well. Uh, you can do recent contacts and dial numbers. Uh, audio is going to play out in the background. That's a copyrighted song, so I don't want to play that too loud. Um, maps is as you'd expect with a, a Android Auto friendly UI uh, where you can actually then um, search for places, navigate and so on. This is all coming from the MMB box itself. I haven't even connected an Android device yet. Uh, again, it will use your GPS, whether it's from the dongle or your mobile positioning. So that's something to bear in mind if this is uh, something you actually want to do yourself. So that's one method. The next method is something that someone in the comments mentioned and it's um, head unit reloaded. And this is uh, an emulation for Google Android Auto. For that, we will need to launch it. And then it launches into this user interface here um, with um, various abilities telling you what it's uh, been connected to, uh, any sort of customizations in resolution and things like that. But basically, you just then take the MMB dongle, you plug the USB cable, it's not wireless Android Auto, then you take you, your Android device, uh, this is a Realme 6, and then you basically plug in the cable into the bottom there. It's going to ask you uh, for this, but you can just dismiss it. And then basically, from here on in, it's basically act and behave like you just plugged it into an Android system. You can allow debugging if you want to. And now we're into Android Auto emulated. Um, you've got maps up automatically. Uh, Spotify is playing in the background. The UI is a bit different to the one you saw earlier. I don't know too much about Android Auto 
and uh, the ability. I think if you play with the resolutions, you might get different um, behaviors. Um, with a higher resolution, you might get a split screen view where it's you can show map data, and this is a lot more squashed uh, over, and you can um, have uh, like a split screen view. Uh, this should all work as intended. Navigate to Brighton Station. Okay, I'm setting your destination to Brighton on Queen's Road. So that's that, that's maps in a nutshell. Uh, then you've got all the Android Auto enabled apps. Um, I've only got a limited selection just to show you. Uh, Spotify, um, we will go to a royalty free track. And you've got this persistent bar from Android Auto always at the bottom here, which is handy. That's playing out okay without too much problem. Um, so the wheel controls are working for me. If I press the vol the speak, right. Uh, my phone hasn't connected to a data sim. It's amazing that even Maps and Spotify is working, but I think it's probably because. My Android's connected to my home Wi-Fi network. So that's probably why some of these things are working and some aren't. But that's Spotify you saw working, pretty good. Uh, Maps have seen ways that fires up pretty fast, gets us going, so that's good. You can start and stop. And uh, change track. can pause it from here as well. Uh, customize options in this actual Android Auto. Uh, we can actually launch it through the phone for customize. Settings has a, a local menu where you can show weather and things like that. Um, then that took us back. So we're gonna launch into here again. So here I think we need to reconnect again. And back in. Um, WhatsApp is WhatsApp, SMS messages. Again, that will come from the phone. You can dictate new ones. And um, obviously dial through a, a mobile, a dashboard friendly UI. And then exit will just take us back to the app itself. Or you can just tap here and get back to the main UI of the MMB. So that's getting Android Auto running from your Android device on a CarPlay display via the MMB Android 7 box. Like I said, I tried this on Android 9 box. I couldn't get um, Android Auto app to work. Um, it said it was incompatible. And also um, the head unit reloaded um, didn't work either. It was again, in uncompatible with the Android 9 box and it only worked on the Android 7. Whether that's an Android 9 OS thing uh, and Android Auto is built in or not, I'm not really sure. I'm not an Android user. So maybe you can let me know in the comments um, if you're up to speed with that and you can uh, fill everyone in there. But um, that's just basically Android running on a CarPlay display in a nutshell. Uh, if you've got any questions, let us know and I can try them out for you. But um, thanks for watching, and if you like what you see, give us a like, give us a subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.